Good morning. I heard you took out a bank loan today. Did you? After our conversation the other night, I was frankly surprised. You despise me that much? Believe it or not, Lex, some things actually have nothing to do with you. I decided to bet on my family. You're betting with Clark's future. I'm just trying to insure it. Yeah, well, so am I. With the bank? They'll kill you with interest while waiting for you to fail. At least with the bank, I know where I stand. I know you don't believe me, but I genuinely want to help you. When you change your mind, my offer still stands. You okay? Yeah. The memorial service is tomorrow. Just think, you know, that could have been me. All because some guy expressed a modicum of interest in me. I thought it was stronger than that. Everybody's searching for their soulmate, Chloe. It's not a sign of weakness. I can't believe both your dates went straight to hell and I ended up with the limo. How was that? It's sweet. I've already hooked up with another date for next weekend. I'm swearing off men. We're not all bad. Maybe you should just swear off heat-sucking horn dogs. <laughs> yeah, well, the next time a guy asks me out, I'm definitely doing an in-depth background check. Come on, Pete. Clark will catch up with us later. Anna. Hey, how's your ankle? It's better, thanks. You never came back the other night. Well, I, I did, but you were gone. I'm sorry. I wanted things to work out differently. Don't worry about it. I was thinking maybe we could, you know, try again sometime. How about Saturday? Whitney's taking me to the city. He's got the whole day planned. I think our non-date freaked him out. What'd you tell him? The truth. They were just friends. I have to go. Lana. Why do you go out with him? Whitney, I mean. Because whenever I need him, he's there. I guess he makes me feel safe. <laughs>